and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the Goodreads group is in the description below if you want to check that out, as is the complete list of books that I am talking about. This week's topic is nostalgic book boyfriends or girlfriends. So these are book characters that we had crushes on when we were younger. All the books I picked are basically from middle school because, let's be honest, that was 20 years ago. and. The fact that I can remember that I had crushes on these characters is pretty amazing to begin with, <laughs> I think. So these are books that I had to have first read before I went into high school and had a crush on that character before high school. That's how I picked them. Uh, most of these are classics and most of these are older guys because I was reading adult books at the time and so the main characters are adults. I was totally a nerdy kid who was Super proud of the fact that I was reading an adult reading level in middle school and so I wanted to show off by reading all these classics and these are the ones that just stuck. <laughs> there is one exception on this list and that is the American Girl books and particularly Uncle Guard from the Samantha books and these are written by Valerie Tripp, Susan S. Adler, and Maxine Brochure. So the main character, Samantha, is an orphan. She is living with her grandmother and her uncle guard shows up quite frequently and is this younger influence to her. So like her grandmother is all proper and a little bit stodgy. I mean, she cares deeply for Samantha and making sure that she's well educated and stuff, but uncle guard just always appears to be more fun. Like he shows up and all of a sudden things get more exciting. <laughs> like as a child who doesn't love that. He's pretty well off, like he's still a grandmother's child, he can afford things like these brand new cars and then gets super passionate about them, he's also deeply caring, and I am totally jealous of his fiance slash wife throughout this book series. Totally one of my first crushes was on Uncle Guard. So the next book on my list is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott and I totally was crushing on Lori. He is the next door neighbor of the March sisters and basically becomes like their brother almost. He spends so much time with the Marches that he's just one of the family by the end of the book. It's wonderful. I also really love the relationship that he has with Joe and was totally shipping them the entire time and because I see myself in Joe obviously I'm like Lori is wonderful and perfect. Yes. So Lori is one of those characters that is just also really fun to be around. Like I would not mind having Lori as my best friend and hanging out all the time. He's also a little bit romantic and sweet and even though Joe doesn't necessarily like him back that same way, uh, Lori definitely, definitely does and it's adorable. The next one on my list is Jim from Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Part of the appeal of Jim is that I wanted to be him. He escapes his kind of boring life in England and gets a treasure map bestowed upon him and then he manages to fund the trip and go searching for this treasure and there is tons of adventure and pirates and it's amazing and I partially want his life. Also, um, Jim's an exciting character. He's pretty smart and clever and genuine and that's appealing. So part of this is I really want to be Jim slash I would like to be with Jim and so yeah, he's one of my, one of my crushes. Hmm. The next character on my list is Mr. Knightley from Emma by Jane Austen. And yeah, the first time I actually saw the movie for Emma and then read the book. But anyway, the first time I was introduced to Mr. Knightley, I was totally crushing. He is perfect and probably the reason why I have such high expectations of men and why I'm still single. Let's be honest. <laughs> so Mr. Knightley, okay, he's 16 years older than Emma, which is a little bit creepy. But he's also her best friend and closest confidant and he gets her and always is trying to push her to do the right thing and mentor her. But at the same time, he's also just fun to hang out with. He's deeply caring, like not only for Emma and her family, but also just his tenants. Like he takes an interest in Robert Martin's life and helping him and just awesome. He's also this voice of reason and... Everything about Mr. Knightley is perfect. Just, yes, please, please. Still majorly have a crush on Mr. Knightley and is the reason why Emma is one of my favorite books. And my final pick for a book boyfriend is Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. 
this is the first Shakespeare play I read, and I immediately latched onto Benedict and Beatrice. The two of them are so witty, and any time that they are conversing together is like the best scene ever. I adore this. This is probably why I'm such a Shakespeare nerd. Like, if I had been introduced to any other Shakespeare play first, I probably would not be like as passionate as I am, but this play is amazing start to finish. So besides being really witty and funny and charismatic, charming, and always gorgeous, Benedict is also distinctly surprising in a way, I guess. Um, so when we're first introduced to him, he's playing off the fact that he's a cad and kind of a jerk, and he owns that about himself. Especially when Beatrice tries to, like, call him out and he... I mean, tries to refute her, but at the same time, I don't think he's doing it. He's, like, enjoying it. Like, they're fighting. There is a scene that goes down in this book where one of the women is basically accused of being a slut and is dishonored, and the other men in the book turn their back on her and leave her to die, basically. Benedict is the one person who is not related to her or a priest who actually stops to make sure that she is okay. So Benedict is the one guy who... You wouldn't necessarily expect to just back her up out of family honor. So, like, her uncle and father are backing her up and the priest is concerned. But out of all the guys, all the soldiers, Benedict is the one who stops to make sure that she's okay. And find out the truth. And then try to help the women get back at the guys for dishonoring her. And it's such a weird position to have him in because up until this point we're led to believe that he's kind of a jerk and a cad. Um, and then we have these other guys, Claudio and the prince, who are supposed to be complete gentlemen and incredibly honorable. And it's Benedict is the one who really, I think, stands out and shows himself to really be a gentleman, at least in my opinion. So always, always love Benedict. Basically is what I'm trying to say. He is wonderful. So there is my incredibly personal list of guys that I've had crushes on since middle school. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what are your book boyfriends or girlfriends from when you were younger and do you also crush on any of these guys? Or do you think any of them are weird choices? Basically. Yeah. So this was an awkward list. <laughs> um, peace out. I love you guys. And keep reading. Bye.